Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this double integration and we have to find its value by converting it into polar coordinates. Okay, what we do first, we will uh, consider these limits. We will try to find the region of integration first, then we will convert it into polar coordinates. Okay, so see the inner integration with respect to x, outer integration with respect to y. So that's why we have the limits of x here. x is equal to x is equal to y is equal to y is equal to. So one by one, we will consider all these curves and we will try to draw their diagrams in this uh, x, y plane. Okay, so what we have, let me write, we have first x is equal to y. Power of x is 1, power of y is also 1, that means it represents a straight line. Okay, so you know well how to find the line. Okay, we draw a table like this, x, y, x, y. To find any line, it is necessary to have any two points on the line. So what will I do? I will put x is equal to 0 first. If I put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So the first point is 0, 0. That means this line passes through this point 0, 0. After that, uh, as per our choice, we can put any another point. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, x is equal to 1. Okay, if I put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So point is 1, 1. 1, 1 will be here. So let me draw the line. This line passes through these two points. So we will have line like this, right? X is equal to Y. Let us consider the second curve. Second curve is X is equal to square root of 4 minus Y square. Okay. So to remove square root, I will take square of both sides. So therefore, we will have X square is equal to 4 minus Y square. Let us shift Y, y square on this side. So therefore, X square plus y square is equal to 4. So all we are familiar with this curve. So this is equation of circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2. So let me mention here, this is a circle, okay. Its center is 0, 0 and radius is 2 since 4 is a square of 2, okay. So let me draw a circle with center 0, 0, radius 2, okay. Circle will be like this. I am drawing a rough sketch of it. See that circle and this line, okay, cuts each other at some two distinct points. So what will I do? We will find a point of intersection first. I'm going to do some rough work, okay, to find a point of intersection. So you know well how to find a point of intersection. We put one equation in second equation. So let us put x is equal to y here. So we will have y square plus y square is equal to 4. See, I'm putting x is equal to y. So this is 2y square is equal to 4. That means y square is equal to 2. So y is equal to plus minus root 2. Okay. So for those values of y, we have to find values of x. So implies x is equal to. So you can put the values of y here or here, but it is easy to put here. So if I put y is equal to root 2, x will be root 2. Okay, so root 2 and if y is equal to minus root 2, x will be minus root 2. That means x again plus minus root 2. So this point will be root 2 comma root 2 and this point will be minus root 2 comma minus root 2. Okay, so in this way we found point of intersection. Okay, this is a rough work. Let me uh, remove it. So let us go further. Okay, so we have considered two limits here. Let us go for this y is equal to 0 and y is equal to root 2. Okay, let me write it here. So y is equal to 0. You know that y is equal to 0 equation of what? x axis. So let me write y is equal to 0. And next is y is equal to root 2. y is equal to root 2. So this is equation of line parallel to x axis passes through y is equal to root 2. Let me mention a line parallel to line parallel to x axis let me draw this line line parallel to x axis okay this is x axis or already i have written here and passes to root 2 so yeah you know that this point is root 2 comma root 2 so at this point that means this line passes to this point so we will have line like this okay so this is a line we have the equation of this line is y is equal to root 2 Okay, so we have considered all curves. So now we have to find the region of integration. So you may get confused which region of integration, this one, this one, this one, many regions we have got here. Okay, so yeah, let us recall the region is bounded by this line 
x is equal to y. Region is bounded by part of circle. Get it? This equation we have y is equal to 0. Region is bounded by y is equal to 0. That means x axis and region is bounded by this line also. That means definitely region lies between these two lines. Getting region lies between these two lines. Y is equal to 0 and y is equal to root 2. That means there will be two options, three options. 1, 2, 3. So what will be the region of integration? Okay. So let us go further. Region is bounded by circle. Region is bounded by circle. And region is bounded by this line also. Okay, this line also. That means either we will have this region or this region. So let us go back and let us see the given problem. See, inner integration is with respect to x. That means our strip is parallel to x-axis. Getting strip is parallel to x-axis. Strip is bounded below by x is equal to y. That means strip is bounded below, okay, bounded below by this line and bounded above, bounded above by a circle, bounded above by a circle. So our strip should be here in this region, then it will satisfy all conditions. So that's why this is a region of integration, okay. So let me show it here in a diagram. So yes, this is a region of integration. See, let us go further. So now the question, we have got a region of integration. Now the question is we have to solve this integration using polar coordinates. So to convert the problem in polar coordinates, we have to put x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. Okay. So let me mention to convert, to convert problem in polar form, we put, we put, okay, what did I say? x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. Okay, we have to put all these values in this integral. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. See, so now we will convert given equations, okay, the equations of curves in polar coordinates. So, the first curve we have x is equal to y, which is a line. So, let us find its polar equation. See, uh, what will I do? I will put x is equal to r cos theta. Okay, that thing we have to do. y is equal to r sin theta. Definitely, we can cancel rr from both sides. So, therefore, cos theta is equal to sin theta. Let us shift cos theta on that side. So, therefore, we will have 1 is equal to sin theta upon cos theta, which is tan theta. See, tan theta is 1. That means, definitely, theta is equal to pi by 4. Getting so, equation of this line is theta is equal to pi by 4. Okay. So, the second equation is equation of circle. We have a uh, equation of circle. So, let us convert it in polar form. So, let me write it here. We have, we have equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4. But in polar form, we put x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. Let us put those values here. So, r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta is equal to 4. We can take that r square common. If you take r square common, you will have cos square plus sin square, which is 1. So that's why I will skip that step and directly I will write it is equal to 4. So r square is equal to 4. So therefore, r is equal to 2. See, r cannot be plus minus 2. r means here distance or radius. Okay, so that's why it cannot be plus minus 2. r is equal to 2. So, this is equation of circle we have. So, equation of circle is r is equal to 2. See, after that, we have to consider a strip. So, in polar form, we always, okay, we always consider a strip which starts at origin. Getting? So, yes. So, we have a strip like this which starts at origin and it will move, it will move like this and it will cover the entire region of integration okay so one end of strip is fixed okay so second end can move in any way so therefore you know, we should move in anti-clockwise direction only getting so then then with the help of that strip let us find the limits of r and theta always we write limits of r first and then we write limits of theta since strip is bounded below okay you can easily see strip one end of strip is uh, we have stick at zero origin getting so it's uh, bounded below by zero and strip is bounded above by part of circle whose equation is r is equal to 2 so r varies from 0 to 2 after that we have to rotate this strip like this it should start at positive x-axis where the angle is zero 
and it should move like this and uh, it has to go up to this line okay it cannot cross the line because the region of integration finishes here so that's why it should move like this and it will stop here where the value of theta is pi by 4 so in this way we got limits of r and theta so let us put all those things in this integral so the integration will be converted in polar form okay let me write down see then or therefore then i will simply mention i is equal to okay inner integration with respect to r having limits 0 to 2 outer integration with respect to theta having limit 0 to pi by 4 okay uh, what about the yeah that function dx dy dx dy means you know r dr d theta r dr d theta what about denominator 1 plus r means r square cos square theta uh, and y means r sin theta no? so r square sin square theta so this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 4 integration 0 to 2 let me write it here r dr d theta see in denominator what can we do we can take r square common so if you take r square common again we will have cos square plus sin square which is 1 so that's why simply r square will be there okay since cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us solve this integration now okay see we cannot solve this problem directly so we have one formula okay so that for using dot formula we will have the answer so integration f dash of x upon f of x dx okay so that means when we have derivative of denominator at numerator we write this is log of denominator okay so let us apply this formula here derivative of denominator it's 2r but only r we have at numerator so we will add just 2 here okay we will multiply and divide by 2 1 by 2 0 to pi by 4 right integration 0 to 2 2 r let me write here so this is 2 r upon 1 plus r square dr d theta so now derivative of denominator we have got at numerator okay so we can apply this formula so this is equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to pi by 4 so by that formula we can write log of denominator that means 1 plus r square 0 to 2 d theta so let us put upper limit first then we put lower limit if you put upper limit 2 square is uh, 4 plus 1 5 so log 5 minus if i put 0 we will have log 1 only d theta so we know that log 1 is 0 so that's why log 5 minus 0 will have log 5 it is a constant i will take it outside 1 by 2 log 5 integration 0 to pi by 4 d theta what is integration of d theta theta obviously so this is equal to 1 by 2 log 5 theta with limit 0 to pi by 4 i will put upper limit lower limit 1 by 2 log 5 into pi by 4 minus 0 let us take product pi by 8 log 5 so this is a required answer okay this formula we use so example is over, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.